Vlogmas Day 9! <laughs> I'm Sue, and I don't know if you can see, but Maisie is eating my hand at the moment. Anyway, I'm ever so pleased to be here and have a chance to read a little bit of my book. Uh, I wrote some pony tales about four native ponies. One of them was a Shetland, and this is a little add-on book about taking that Shetland to Olympia to go in the Shetland Grand National. Uh, just got to read a little bit now. So Laura's just arrived. It's her first race ever. This little excerpt will be about that first race. And she's been trained by a very nice lady called Mrs. Webb, who knew that she was struggling a bit, took a liking to her, and has helped her to qualify for the race. Now, Mrs. Webb is a bit fierce. She's got a heart of gold, but she can be a bit scary. They're under starter's orders. The voice was rising in excitement. One of the other ponies ran back, reared up, and waved its front feet in the air. Millie snorted. Millie's the pony. Millie snorted and threw her head up. She'd never felt so strong in Laura's hands before. Please don't you rear up too, Mill, she begged under her breath. You're having a bit of trouble, kid, called a voice behind her. It was that boy, Ed on Lorenzo. As he drew level with her, she stuck out. She went on to explain that she told Mrs. Webb that she'd seen Ed on Lorenzo knock Millie right over into Imogen's path as he'd gone barging up on the inside. And Abby told her he saw it all as well, she added. So Mrs. Webb had to believe us. It was his fault, and not yours. I think you're forgiven. Well, almost. But better watch out for who's behind you. Next time. At that moment, Holly appeared. Hey, you won best stable. I've never managed that, she said, looking at the card. Then she burst out laughing at the size of the cup. Come on, worth a selfie with that huge trophy. And I've got some news that'll cheer you up. She went on to explain that she told Mrs. Webb that she had seen Ed on Lorenzo knock Millie right over into Imogen's path as he'd gone barging up the inside. And Abby told her she saw it all too, she added. So Mrs. W had to believe us. It was his fault and not yours. I think you're forgiven. Well, almost. <laughs> but you better watch out for who's behind you next time. Maisie? Maisie? Maisie, did you enjoy that? <laughs> Come and wipe my hand this again. No, it, she doesn't it. love me. She obviously didn't like it. <laughs> I hope you liked it more than she did. <laughs> Lovely. Bye-bye. <laughs> Happy Christmas. <laughs> Good